to my little Emily. So, um, I just trust that you'll be nice to her. That, uh, Hey, hey, thanks a lot. And, uh, you know, you know where we live at now, right? Don't be a stranger, okay? Oh, Pam, you better, uh, roll your windows up, lock your doors till you get back to your side of town, all right? Hey, you don't have to be so smart. There's nice people. Hey, what? Don't it bother you that somebody, just because they got a little luck, that they're better than you? No, they got our baby. They better be nice. Arch. Arch. Oh, we've been put out. Oh, we spent up all the money. Hey, we got two more nights here. We spent up all our money. Well, right, yeah, we spent up all our money on the damn bus, right? Trying to find Emily a home. Well, we should go to the shelter. No, we can't go to the damn shelter. The shelter's closed this time of night. No, no, no! Kitty cat eat it? I guess not. Uh, whoops, Emily. They're putting up your fence so you can't go head first in the pool. No swimming yet. How am I doing? Look what I have. You want to bite a banana? What are you looking at? Oh, 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 ugh! You're very stubborn. You must take after me. I'm gonna smooch you again. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> uh, well, that's three. Another one. Another one? No, I don't think another one. I think three's enough, actually. <laughs> Come on, let's get you out of there.
Throw it in there. All right. And what's this? Ducky. And what's that? And we'll throw that one in. And this funny one over here. Can we throw this little one? Throw it in. Good girl. And the alligator. And how about the baby? Okay. How about that baby? Oh, not that baby. I didn't mean this baby. <laughs> well, how about this baby? You want to get in there? No. You don't? How come? You want to get in the bathtub with a soap? Soap? Huh? 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 You do you? You want to get in the bathtub? Oh, uh, stop that short person. Oh, he he is. Is. Oh, you might find out. <laughs> oh, we're going to take a bath. <laughs> Look at her little ringlet. <laughs> What's with you? Three days, you don't call me, you don't write, you don't ask for my Did you see advice. her run? So did you see her walk? Advice? Three days yes. ago, she wouldn't or couldn't, I don't know which, walk. Sorry, come on. Her first bath? First bath. Oh, that's funny. That's <laughs> very funny. Oh, I'm glad you're pretty No, and we've... <laughs> had our hair examined for head lice, and we've been to the pediatrician. Oh, what did he say? Ah, uh, she, Helen Cronin. No! Woo! Do you like it? <laughs> she said Emily may have some developmental problems, and she's a little anemic, but otherwise she's, she's terrific. She's so gorgeous. You know, I know this is going to sound crazy, but don't you think she looks a little like Greta? <laughs> Greta? Yeah. <laughs> Greta, your dog, Greta? Yeah. I mean, you know how Greta has those incredible wait, eyes? Wait, wait, wait. That Comparing my child to your dog? Greta's a beautiful dog. <laughs> You're so nuts. Look at that. Hello? Do you like it? Um, no, it's not. Just a minute. Gary? What does he want? Oh, God. Please don't let him want her back. Come here, come here, come here. Take, take her. Take her? Just, just. Uh, well, what do I do? Just, just no. watch her. Just okay. hold her. Hold her. Hello. Uh, hi, Gary. Hi, yeah. Oh, she's great. No, she's wonderful, as a matter of fact. Very happy. Oh, uh, we've been figuring on picking her up today. Oh? It don't seem like such a good idea, right? Because I'm, uh, I'm, I'm uh, trying to get this job. So, um, Lily and me, we, uh, we decided that we like you guys so much that we, uh, we, we want to try the 30-day thing. The 30-day thing? Yeah, it's, um... Uh, well, look, uh, the lawyer, he's got all the papers in that. And, uh, but uh, we haven't got any money to get there on a the bus down in the office. Well, I could pick you up. Um... Well, that'd be great. Bye. Okay, I'm, I'll be back in two or three hours, all right? Bye, sweetie. You are? And Elle is going to take care of you. I am? Uh, the diapers are in the, in the bedroom and, and the uh, food's in the kitchen. Diapers? She's not battery operated, you know? No. Oh. Right, right. Hi, honey. Um, you better not, um, hi, <laughs> thanks. Let me, um, um, just to make sure you're, you know, safe. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Hey, kid. Wanna go shopping? I petitioned the court for what's referred to as a babysitting contract, which makes you the legal guardian for 30 days. Now, if at any time the wards wish to cancel this arrangement, they have the legal right to do so, and you must relinquish the child. I understand. What rights do we have? Let's not worry about that right now. You're a worrier, Sean. I like that. I don't like this guy. Look, they are the parents. They have to be involved. We don't have any choice. Well, just stay as clear and clean of this as possible. I don't want it to blow up and you get hurt. Yeah, I'm a big girl. Okay. Thanks for coming. Okay. Going back to work? That's what some of us do. Hey, you don't have to be smart. You know, I got something you want. Go on. I'll be fine. I have to tell you that part of my job is to dissuade the wards from going through with this adoption. Why would you do that? Oh, we have a nice home, lots of love to give. This is not about you. I've met the couple. And frankly, I'm concerned about Mrs. Ward. She's very depressed about the loss of the child, and she clearly is intimidated by her husband. But surely you can see that the child's better off here with us. It appears that way. But if the natural mother is being coerced, 
I will have to recommend that the court not order this adoption. I ran these people through a national database. For the parents? Yeah. Looks like they promised Emily to another family. Promised her to another family? Yeah. What's they gonna do to Pam? Well, if they are con artists, it's a lot better to get out of it now before she's in so deep. Well, you see, you just blow it out? What about you? How deep are you? Pam's my life. Well, here's your life. It's a new complication. Ahoy, the boat! Prepare to be boarded! Prepare to repel girls! Uh, you should be so lucky. Yeah. Emily decided to give you guys a shot against my better judgment, I might add. Well, at least one of my girls has some spirit. Here you go, sweetheart. Here. Why don't you put this on so we can stow you below and then we'll hit the high seas, okay? Uh, low seas, please. Uh, around the harbor, within walking distance to shore. I told you we weren't going to get outside the breakwater. All right. That's, oh, stretch that one back. There we go. Oh, huh? No? Uh -uh. Yeah. Honey, no, you're no. scaring her. Well, what's she scared for? I haven't done anything. Well, it's all new. Just, just take it easy. Okay, here. Why don't you go do it yourself? That's it. Do, do it yourself. That's it. Wait, Wait, you have... No, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Watch it. Emily! Emily! Stop her. No! Come back! Honey! Hey, look out! Stop Wait! Her. Grab her! Jerry, Help her! Get her! Get her. Somebody get a hand Jerry. on her! Champion Doc Diver. She's fine. She's just a little scared. That's all. She's just a little scared. No, it's okay. It's all right. Just a little boo-boo. Oh, that was so scary. Look at her. She bumped her head. She's okay. Just give her a kiss. Just hold on. She's a little scared. It's okay, sweetie. Just let her calm down and we'll be able to go out. Okay? Okay. You're overreacting. No, that's all right. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, um, see you. I'll, I'll go with her. Yeah, that's a real good idea, right? We'll just we'll just have Emily down here so she can stand on the street with us. What do you think? I can't help it. I want my baby. What? I can't help it. I want my baby. Yeah, why don't you just go and get her, all right? Then you can figure it all out without me. Oh, why do you have to be so mean all the time? I ain't mean. Uh, I ain't mean to be smart. You know, those people, they're just getting used to her. We call, we call him up now, that husband, he don't want her. He'll be down here to the Santa Fe restaurant in about 10 seconds. What do you think? I ain't never been away from her this long since she was four. You know what, that ain't no answer. Where are you going? Lily wants to see Emily. This is a really bad idea. Look, at least this way he's not showing up here. We have some control. You're stuck between him and the state and he knows it. I'm stuck? You know what I mean. Yeah, I think I do. Hey, Pam, what's with the Band-Aid? She had a little fall. She's fine. Really? Hey, you know, the reason I called you is uh, I, I want you to come see something. I want you to understand a little Gary, bit about... Gary, what I understand is that this is very, very hard on Emily, you know? This confuses her. Yeah, well, I guess we're a little confused, too. Look at that. I don't know. Secret place. Secret place is you know, it ain't easy, you know, ripping a kid away from her folks. But it's a lot me, of pain. I understand. It's just that whatever's best for Emily... Ray, come on. I want to show you. They're fine, okay? Just come on with me. I want to show you something. You know, uh, the adoption lady, Garcia, she was snooping around. She said she was going to check on your home environment. And yeah, she did. Everything's fine. Yeah? You know, she said she thinks that uh, Emily should stay with Lily. Thinks I'm forcing her to give her up. All right, it's okay. 
As long as you're with me, you're fine. Come on. Come on. Well, this is it. This is where we stay sometimes. This is a prize place. All right, guys fight over this place. Guys who get real feisty about staying here. You know, let me tell you something. That welfare check that we get for Emily, that'll get us about 15 nights in that motel you saw us in. And then after that, we'll just go to the shelter and get about seven nights there before they kick you out. But then besides that, we just, uh, we'll sleep out in the open on the street. And we'll come here if it rains. Will he drew these? Yep. This is for Emily. Yeah, that's her bed. think of taking Emily back. Because we love her. All right, hey, you don't know nothing, Sam. You may be smart, but you don't know nothing, all right? Now, what do you think Lily's life's going to be like without that baby, huh? Well, what has she got to live for? What about Emily? What about Lily? What, ab what about us? Guys like me, all right, getting out of the service, getting a little trouble, doing something stupid, going to jail, some stupid things, trying to support your family. You know, you get out, can't get no kind of job. The jobs you do get, some idiot just gonna spit on you. Hey, I got no self-respect, all right? All right, I'm as good as your husband is, all right? It's just nobody give me a chance growing up and all. What do you want me to do? Emilio, just fix this one up. Now, I can get this work car for $500. You want me to buy you the car? No, nah, it's a loan, all right? Now, you know, you can't do jack in this town without a car. Lily and me, we can sleep in it. But you know, we're not supposed to have any financial dealings between the two of us. Well, 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 like... yeah, right. OK, fine, fine. Yeah, you can get technical, that's fine. Hey, I, I can get technical, you know? I mean, anybody can get technical, right? That's fine, we'll be technical about Gary, it. Gary, wait a minute. Wait, wait for what? What, till, uh, till, till we're dead, right? I'm not a young man. What, we're gonna wait till hell freezes over? I mean, the point, the point of giving up the baby was so that we could get ahead, right? Now, hey, you know, if I can't get ahead by giving her up, I might as well just keep the one thing in this world I love. But I wish there was something I could do. Right. Yeah. Maybe you ain't as all sweet and nice as you look. What do you mean? Well, I think... I think that maybe either you or Sean are abusing Emily. Oh, don't be ridiculous. She had an accident. Yeah, right. Well, I'm taking her back. You can't. Uh, what? Well, oh, yeah, I can't. Right, what, are you are You quoting the law now? Quoting the law? Right, you think you're going to just uh, take our child, leave us to rot in the gutter? Fine. L Lily, come, please, Lily, don't let him do this. I'll buy you the car. What'd you say? I'll buy you the car. Oh, yeah? Wait till he finds out about the car you bought. 
What is he, my father? Look, if I think it's worth spending some money to get rid of these people, who cares? Because maybe you haven't gotten rid of them. Do you want me to help you? No, just make sure Emily doesn't see it. Party? For Emily, yes. What, you have... And Lily and I didn't get any advice. What? What, that, that, that's not very nice. Babysitter, babysitter's throwing a party. You don't invite the child's own flesh and blood. Please, please, Gary, just, just leave. Just leave before Emily sees you. Well, hey, hey I, I got responsibilities to see that nobody hurts my little girl. You can see that she's fine. Where's Lily? Really sick. She can't walk. No, we uh, we only had bus money for one person. Yeah, I had a job interview this morning, and uh, I was on the bus for like three hours to get here, and, and uh, my ulcer's acting up. So I don't. What do you want? Well, I, I did a dumb thing, Pam. You know, um, you know that uh, that car you bought. We bought. I know, I know I shouldn't have trusted that Emilio. <laughs> Some bitch sold us uh, a car that doesn't run. You know, I mean, I, I learned this lesson over and over again, right? But, you know, it wouldn't have hurt if we bought a more expensive car, you know, one that runs. But you, you know, there I was trying to save you more money. You want me to buy you another car? No, 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 I'm a mechanic. Hey, I, I'm a better mechanic than Emilio is, all right? It's just he's got tools. And I don't. Tools. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. They promised the child of who? Mr. and Mrs. Eric Brady. <laughs> if I get a really big one, will you pop it for me? Oh, I better get the phone. Hello? Uh, Ella, hi, it's Sean. Yeah. Hi, how's, Sean. How's the party going? Oh, um, well, it's going fine, except, um, your wife ran off in the middle of it. Where'd she go? Well, you know, that guy came over. Who? Ward? Yeah. Where'd they go? I might not really know. I, I told her, damn it. Is everything okay? No, it's not. Are you all right? Why wouldn't she be all right? Let's, going let's just on go here. home. We're fine. Let's just go home. Hey, your wife's just helping us out, Sean. All this just to keep Emily, right? How will you know this son of a bitch promised Emily to another couple? Wait, that ain't true. Is Mr. and Mrs. Eric Brady of Reno, Nevada? Does that ring a bell? Lily, how could you do this to Emily? No, we didn't do nothing. I can't, I can't, I'm, I can't do this. I can't just, stand No, it. just shut up. That's Let her talk! Say, okay, that couple from Reno, they's got their brume. They call her Natalie's. What, you've done this before? Before that was our little boy, Joey. We don't know where he is no more. How could you do this? Well, we ain't got no choice. Have you ever heard of birth control? We don't believe in yeah, that. No, it's murder. Well, that's what they do for a living. They suck in people like us. Well, hey, you don't know true. nothing about it. Hey, you know what? Let's you just know cut through this right it, now, Sean. okay? You want something? You want my jacket? Here, take Sean, my jacket. You want my shirt? Stop. How about my pants? Stop. You want everything else? You want the car? You well, found hey, the hey, pants. I don't want it. Wait, wait, wait. this time. Get out of here. Hey, what the hell? You found the biggest suckers of them all. Well, I ain't Literally no time, man. Now, just Sean. leave town for six months. You get out of here. Until we have Emily. Hey, that ain't true. Hey, hey, I love my kids. Hey, hey the car hey, and leave. Hey, I love my kids. Hey, you get out of here. Go on, get it. Go on, get it. Just go, OK? Just go. Get in the room. Get in there. Go on, get out of here. I'll talk to you at home. Go on. Big guy! Go on! Rich man! Get out of here! The two! Pam!
was some stunt you pulled? That was no stunt. This guy's never going away. If this loses Emily, I'll never forgive him. What? You'll never forgive? You'll never forgive me? There's a twisted, manipulative bastard out there threatening our lives, and you'll never forgive me. I'm not going to lose this child. Well, you may have to. What did you say? There may not be a choice. Why? Are you giving up? I am not going to spend the next I don't know what being blackmailed. Well, what's the alternative? Give up Emily. Well, you're crazy. I mean, it's the only thing that makes sense. This guy is crazy. It's not going to work. Let's just let it go now. It? It? Give Emily up? Let's start this over. I don't like this lawyer. I don't trust him. We'll get a new one and we'll do what it right. What in God's name is going on with you? You lost a... We lost a baby. We wanted to adopt a Phil that boy. It made sense. This doesn't make sense anymore. Here's if it makes sense. Another Why baby does it have to make sense? Just as well as Emily. They're not interchangeable. Babies, they're specific. This very specific little person is my child. And, and okay, maybe, maybe at first she did fill a void. But right now what I feel is her need, not mine. And if I thought that she would be better off with Lily, I'd do that. I would. But she needs us. She needs us. And if she can have been here for the last two weeks, and you can't feel that, then I feel sorry for you. He's a con artist. Why don't you get the authorities involved? You know, call the cops, the adoption agents, or something. At least with a con artist, you could set the price, make a deal, and be done with it. This guy's much worse. There's no order to it. Should I just drop the main? Hey, I'm so nuts about this baby. It makes it easy for him. I think she'd rather break up the marriage than give up Emily. How can I even begin to think that irrationally? I wish I could, honest to God. That'll put me right there with them. I mean, what makes me smarter if I do the same dumb thing as everybody else? I mean, there are five billion people in the world, and, and, and most of them uh, don't give any thought at all to having a child. A lot of bobbing and weaving in there. I guess I, I don't want to take the chance that somehow you put all of this into it. Suddenly, she's gone. That's what I know about having children. Put everything you have into them. All your love. Make them the center of your universe. One day, you get a phone call. You know that your child is gone. Your marriage is over. And your whole life just stops. It sucks. Hello? Lily? I ran away because Gary's scaring me and, and I had to run away. I don't mean to bother you, but I'm just, I, I, I'm just scared. Where are you? St. Adele's shelter. I'll be right there. It's Lily, can you come with me? I'm not too good with directions. No, it's fine. The parking must have been terrible. I'm sorry. I, you know, Gary always said, no decent woman had ever walked these streets. It was oh. fine, Lily. Really. We got here just fine. I had to get out of there. I ain't sure what to do. What happened? Where's Gary now? Well, I don't know. The last time he came here, I don't know, the last time I was here, he came looking for me. They wouldn't let him in because his 